When I was a lieutenant in 1981, there were almost 300,000 soldiers in Europe, plus a giant Air Force and Navy. Um, and the mission was to deter the Soviet Union and assure our allies. Uh, now we have 30,000 soldiers, but we still have the mission to deter Russia and assure our allies, plus protect our people from ISIL, uh, and you're dealing in an environment with terrible uh, refugee and immigration challenges. So we have to achieve the same effect of assurance and deterrence, but with 30,000 people. So we have to make the we have to do things that the 30,000 will look and feel like 300,000. So uh, putting more responsibility on junior leaders. Uh, we need the National Guard and Reserve to come fill in capabilities that we don't have. Uh, we're learning how to do more and more with our allies, taking advantage of their capabilities. Um, the Army's regionally allocated force, 4th Division, 10th Special Forces Group, and Rotational Aviation come over uh, episodically to help fill um, capability requirements. And then finally, it's uh, active engagement. More than 50 exercises this year that are battalion or larger all over Europe. All are a part of assuring our allies and deterring Russia.